Well, let's uh, turn to Afghanistan now because at least nine people have been killed and five more injured in a suicide bombing in the country's capital, Kabul. The attacker, who was wearing an explosive vest, targeted a hotel where a political gathering was reportedly taking place. Most of the victims are believed to have been policemen. Islamic State has claimed responsibility for the atrocity. Well, in an indication of how the Afghan government is losing control, a new US government report details how, in the past six months alone, the Taliban has taken another 4% of the country under its control. Another major issue uh, is the rising opium production too. A UN report this time says that the amount of territory covered by poppy fields has increased by 63% over the last year, and that allows for a potential 87% increase in opium production in the country. Despite all of this, though, President Trump did sound pretty optimistic when he outlined his new Afghanistan strategy back in August. One way or another, these problems will be solved. I'm a problem solver. And in the end, we will win. We will defeat them, and we will defeat them handily. OK, well, to discuss this uh, further, we're joined now by former Afghan MP and independent member of parliament too, Dayud Sultanzoy. Uh, good evening to you. Thanks for coming on to RT this evening. I don't know if you heard that uh, quote we just played there from Donald Trump from back in August, but then he was very optimistic of defeating terrorism in Afghanistan. How optimistic are you that that will happen? I think uh, we all live uh, uh, in a, a lives that uh, we should be optimistic, especially living in Afghanistan, you need to be optimistic, otherwise you shouldn't be here. But in, uh, having said that, uh, wars cannot be won only by optimism. Uh, wars are made of uh, battles and also other aspects that are fought in outside the battlefields. Poverty, employment, good governance, rule of law. All those things uh, are ingredients uh, to win a war of this sort. And some of those ingredients uh, uh, are missing or are very weak so far. So we need to pay, pay, uh, pay more attention to a comprehensive solution in Afghanistan, not just a battlefield solution. So in your opinion, what do you see as the key reasons then, just looking at the last few months, that the Taliban has gained so much new territory? Uh, well, uh, there are many reasons. Uh, of course, uh, one of the major reasons is probably a uh, 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 lack of ability of the government to deliver to the population outside some major cities. Uh, uh, weaker governance, uh, uh, unemployment, very bad economy. And of course, when you mentioned about dr the drug problem, uh, the lack of uh, uh, enough attention to create uh, alternative uh, life, uh, livelihood for the farmers and also fight a comprehensive war against drugs, not just in Afghanistan, but also in the markets in Europe and, and beyond. Why do you think it's proving to be so difficult to, to up the war against drugs and opium production in Afghanistan? Because, I mean, it's not just increased a small amount, it's increased a huge amount, hasn't it? It is a dramatic increase, and I'm sure there's, there are several reasons for it. One of them, as we mentioned earlier, is uh, weaker security in more Taliban-controlled rural areas where these things are produced. The other re reason is a very, very hidden reason. That is the demand in European and American markets. Uh, lack of uh, proper attention to, to uh, uh, alternative crops and, and, and alternative livelihood for the farmers of, of, of Afghanistan. And also, the other reason that uh, very little attention is paid to in reports uh, that were recently published is the uh, uh, lack of demand in previous years and lack of production in pre previous years created more demand. And now, because of the demand, the opium production has increased and that has also uh, 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 has a correlation that nobody talks about and the other thing that I need to mention as an Afghan is uh, 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 the American strategy uh, uh, in Afghanistan to approach the drug problem in Afghanistan first of all it's not the drug problem of Afghanistan it's the drug problem of the world secondly just to approach this to deny the Taliban the financial resources that they are getting from drugs 
that that is the wrong approach in my view. If we approach this, that it is just the source of uh, income for the Taliban and fighting it that way, this is not going to solve the problem. OK, Daoud, look, we're going to leave it there. Really appreciate you coming on to RT tonight, though. That was Daoud Sultanzoy, a former Afghan MP and independent member, too, of Parliament. Thank you.